Ever since the famous Egyptian architect Imhotep started designing and building the first pyramids over 4,000 years ago, humans have strived to build bigger, taller, and greater structures. Back then, they could only dream how staggeringly high the last hundred years have led to fierce competition among nations to build the tallest buildings of the future and push their architectural skills to the limits. And that competition is still going on today. Number 5. Burj Mubarak Al Kabir. At 1,001 meters high, this mega tall skyscraper is due to be built in Kuwait City, Kuwait. It will form part of the amazing future city of Madinat Al Harir. This brand new city will cover an area of 62,000 acres. Alongside the Burj Mubarak Al Kabir, it will boast a nature reserve, a new airport, a major business center, its own Olympic Stadium, and plenty of entertaining attractions for tourists from all over the world. Madinat Al Harir, or better known by the name Silk City, will be home to 700,000 fortunate residents and create a whopping 450,000 new jobs. But before you start booking your flights, bear in mind it probably won't be completed for another 25 years. And it's expected to cost an eye-watering 132 billion US dollars. There are even plans to link it to Kuwait City via an ambitious 36 kilometer long bridge. If the Burj Mubarak Al Kabir is constructed on time as planned in 2030, it will become the world's tallest building, surpassing even the phenomenal Burj Khalifa in Dubai. Have you ever heard of 1001 Arabian Nights? Well, the height of the skyscraper is 1001 meters based on this collection of folk tales. Most skyscrapers have fewer than 80 floors because otherwise the number of elevators needed would take up too much space. But the Burj Mubarak Al Kabir will have a vertigo inducing 234 floors. And to reach all these floors, the architects have designed special double and even triple decker elevators. Another remarkable feature of this super cloud scraper is its seven vertically stacked 30 story neighborhoods. These sky hoods will house apartments, offices, and hotels, all linked by several four story town squares. It sounds utterly jaw-dropping, doesn't it? Would you want to live and work in a place like this? Not recommended if you're scared of heights. The greatest challenge for the architects was the height of the building. Burj Mubarak Al Kabir will be so high up that it'll be vulnerable to very high winds. So to help stabilize it, the skyscraper has been designed as three interlocking towers, each twisting at an angle of 45 degrees. Also, a number of vertical ailerons, or small fins like those on an airplane, will run the full length of each edge of the building. By adjusting the position of these ailerons, the engineers will be able to redirect the winds and reduce structural vibrations. Wow, that's so clever. Who would have thought of that? When finished, this astonishing skyscraper will be taller than the current tallest building, the Burj Khalifa, at 828 meters. But it will be shorter than the planned 1600 meter Tokyo Sky Mile Tower and the currently under construction Jetta Tower, which will be 1,008 meters tall. Number 4. Jetta Tower. Speaking of which, the Jetta Tower is number 4 on our list of tallest buildings of the future. Although its precise height is a closely guarded secret, the envisioned Jetta Tower is supposedly going to be around 1,008 meters high. It will have an impressive 167 floors and 59 express elevators to access them. The Jetta Tower has been under construction since 2013 and 66 floors are already finished. But at the moment, it is only a petite 266 meters high. In mid-2018, construction had to be put on hold due to legal investigations, although the holding company that owns the Jetta Tower has said it hopes to start building again in 2020. The building was initially supposed to be one mile high, which is why it was previously known as the Mile High Tower or Kingdom Tower. But the geology of the bedrock proved unsuitable, so they ended up going metric. If and when it's completed at its location, to the north of the city of Jeddah in Saudi Arabia, it could become the world's first one kilometer high building. It will form the centerpiece and mark the completion of the first phase of Jeddah Economic City formerly known as Kingdom City. Work is due to be carried out in three phases, 
After Phase 1, construction will begin on developing the infrastructure needed to support the city. Curiously, the third phase has yet to be revealed. What do you think it might be? The entire area will cover a gigantic 1,285 acres and include both commercial and residential developments. It comes with a platinum-plated price tag of 20 billion US dollars. Designed by American architect Adrian Smith, who also designed the Burj Khalifa, the Jeddah Tower will have many unique structural and aesthetic features. It will primarily be used to house a Four Seasons hotel, service departments, office space, and luxury condominiums. It will also contain the world's highest observatory. Could the Jeddah Tower become the next tallest building in the world? Number 3. Creek Tower This 1,300-meter monster with its 210 floors has been under construction since 2016. Its due completion date is 2020. In May 2017, engineers finished digging the foundations at its location in Dubai Creek. At a wallet-bursting cost of 1 billion US dollars, its proposed names are the Tower Dubai, Dubai Creek Towers, and Lagoon Tower. When work is complete, it will become the tallest tower in the world. The Creek Tower was designed by world-famous architect Santiago Calatrava, who also designed the Museum of Tomorrow in Rio de Janeiro and the Milwaukee Art Museum. Calatrava got his inspiration for the structure from Islamic minarets, and the top of the tower will be shaped like the flower bud of a lily. The Creek Tower will accommodate luxury residences, offices, restaurants, and apartments. Its 10 viewing platforms will provide a 360-degree view over Dubai and Creek Harbor. The platforms are designed to look like sky gardens, drawing their inspiration from the biblical hanging gardens of Babylon. Sounds beautiful, doesn't it? At night, the Dubai Creek Tower will emit a futuristic beacon of light that will supposedly project a hovering flower above the structure. Number 2. The Sky Mile Tower at an incredible 1,700 meters tall, the Sky Mile Tower is due to be built in Japan's capital city, Tokyo. The city lies on the Pacific coast and, like many cities around the world, is struggling with an increasing population. Japan also sits on the median tectonic line, so it's at considerable risk not only from earthquakes, but also typhoons and rising sea levels. In response to these hazards, the Japanese government launched the NEXT Tokyo 2045 initiative. Its aim is to encourage architects to design megacities adapted to meet the challenges of climate change by 2045. The Sky Mile Tower is only part of a pioneering vision for the entire district in the Bay of Tokyo. The NEXT Tokyo district will stretch for 3,090 acres and house 500,000 people. A series of hexagonal rings and angled structures in the water are designed to break up oversized waves and protect the coastal city from hurricane speed winds and massive tidal waves. The next Tokyo district will also feature freshwater reservoirs, harbors, and urban farming, including growing algae to use as a clean source of fuel. The Sky Mile Tower will owe its breathtaking height to groundbreaking new technology. Instead of pumping water hundreds of meters up the tower, its ingenious design allows it to collect rainwater and moisture from the clouds and store it at different heights. That's such a smart idea, don't you think? This resourceful system uses gravity to help distribute the water throughout the tower. It will also have a sophisticated new transportation system with the lifts traveling vertically and horizontally across the tower. The firm of architects behind the initiative says that Next Tokyo 2045 is a hypothetical proposal intended for research purposes. Its goal is to find environmentally compatible solutions to the challenges faced by metropolises today. Number 1. Times Squared 3015 Receiving an honorable mention in a 2015 architectural design competition, this mile-high concept for a vertical city explores the possibilities of vertical living. At an imposing 1,733 meters, more than one mile high, this colossus would be located in the heart of the city that never sleeps, Times Square in New York City. Though not a serious business proposal, it represents an attempt to envisage a self-contained community, incorporating innovative vertical farming, a sandy beach, a whole mountain range, a stadium, and a redwood forest. 
and let's not forget, vertically stacked housing and offices. Each of these zones would consist of individualized modules. The lucky residents would have a beach or a forest right in their own backyard. In order to expose this astonishing building to as much sun as possible, the south-facing side of the modules is kept open. This results in a series of L-shaped living clusters. A number of retail-themed entertainment modules will be located above and below the residential modules. The main core of Times Squared 365 would consist of a massive elevator system. And in order to minimize travel time, each elevator would only stop at one of the 12 major modules. Passengers then move within each module using a series of secondary elevators or stairways. Imagine being able to visit the shopping mall or go to a football game just by hopping on an elevator. If Times Squared 365 were ever built, it would be the world's tallest building and the first one to exceed one mile. Which of these future buildings do you like the most? Let us know in the comments below. For now, thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video.